In mathematics and physics, n-dimensional anti-de Sitter space (ADSN) is a maximally symmetric Lorentzian manifold with constant negative scalar curvature. Anti-de Sitter space and de Sitter space are named after Willem de Sitter (1872–1934), professor of astronomy at Leiden University and director of the Leiden Observatory. Willem de Sitter and Albert Einstein worked together closely in Leiden in the 1920s on the spacetime structure of the universe. Manifolds of constant curvature are most familiar in the case of two dimensions, where the surface of a sphere is a surface of constant positive curvature, a flat Euclidean plane is a surface of constant zero curvature, and a hyperbolic plane is a surface of constant negative curvature. Einstein's general theory of relativity places space and time on equal footing, so that one considers the geometry of a unified spacetime instead of considering space and time separately. The cases of spacetime of constant curvature are de Sitter space positive, Minkowski space zero, and anti-de Sitter space negative. As such, they are exact solutions of Einstein's field equations for an empty universe with a positive, zero, or negative cosmological constant, respectively. Anti-de Sitter space generalizes to any number of space dimensions. In higher dimensions, it is best known for its role in the ADS CFT correspondence, which suggests that it is possible to describe a force in quantum mechanics like electromagnetism, the weak force or the strong force in a certain number of dimensions, for example, 4, with a string theory where the strings exist in an anti-de Sitter space with one additional dimension. Topic: Non-technical explanation. This non-technical explanation first defines the terms used in the introductory material of this entry. Then, it briefly sets forth the underlying idea of a general relativity-like spacetime. Then it discusses how de Sitter space describes a distinct variant of the ordinary spacetime of general relativity called Minkowski space related to the cosmological constant, and how anti-de Sitter space differs from de Sitter space. It also explains that Minkowski space, de Sitter space and anti-de Sitter space, as applied to general relativity, can all be thought of as being embedded in a flat five-dimensional spacetime. Finally, it offers some caveats that describe in general terms how this non-technical explanation fails to capture the full detail of the mathematical concept. Topic: <laughs> Technical terms translated. A maximally symmetric Lorentzian manifold is a spacetime in which no point in space and time can be distinguished in any way from another, and, being Lorentzian the only way in which a direction or tangent to a path at a spacetime point can be distinguished is whether it is space-like, light-like or time-like. The space of special relativity Minkowski space is an example. A constant scalar curvature means a general relativity gravity like bending of spacetime that has a curvature described by a single number that is the same everywhere in spacetime in the absence of matter or energy. Negative curvature means curved hyperbolically, like a saddle surface or the Gabriel's horn surface, similar to that of a trumpet bell. It might be described as being the opposite of the surface of a sphere, which has a positive curvature. Topic: Spacetime in general relativity. General relativity is a theory of the nature of time, space, and gravity in which gravity is a curvature of space and time that results from the presence of matter or energy. Energy and mass are equivalent, as expressed in the equation E. Topic. MC2, and space and time can be translated into equivalent units based on the speed of light C in the e. MC2 equation. A common analogy involves the way that a dip in a flat sheet of rubber, caused by a heavy object sitting on it, influences the path taken by small objects rolling nearby, causing them to deviate inward from the path they would have followed had the heavy object been absent. Of course, in general relativity, both the small and large objects mutually influence the curvature of spacetime. 
The attractive force of gravity created by matter is due to a negative curvature of spacetime, represented in the rubber sheet analogy by the negatively curved trumpet bell-like dip in the sheet. A key feature of general relativity is that it describes gravity not as a conventional force like electromagnetism, but as a change in the geometry of spacetime that results from the presence of matter or energy. The analogy used above describes the curvature of a two-dimensional space caused by gravity in general relativity in a three-dimensional superspace in which the third dimension corresponds to the effect of gravity. A geometrical way of thinking about general relativity describes the effects of the gravity in the real-world four-dimensional space geometrically by projecting that space into a five-dimensional superspace with the fifth dimension corresponding to the curvature in spacetime that is produced by gravity and gravity-like effects in general relativity As a result, in general relativity, the familiar Newtonian equation of gravity F equals G M one M two R two Display style text style F equals G frac M underscore one M underscore two R carrot two IE gravitation pull between two objects equals the gravitational constant times the product of their masses divided by the square of the distance between them is merely an approximation of the gravity-like effects seen in general relativity. However this approximation becomes inaccurate in extreme physical situations. For example, in general relativity, objects in motion have a slightly different gravitation effect than objects at rest. Some of the differences between the familiar Newtonian equation of gravity and the predictions of general relativity flow from the fact that gravity in general relativity bends both time and space, not just space. In normal circumstances, gravity bends time so slightly that the differences between Newtonian gravity and general relativity are detectable only with precise instruments. Does sitter space in general relativity? Does sitter space involves a variation of general relativity in which spacetime is slightly curved in the absence of matter or energy. This is analogous to the relationship between Euclidean geometry and non-Euclidean geometry. An intrinsic curvature of spacetime in the absence of matter or energy is modeled by the cosmological constant in general relativity. This corresponds to the vacuum having an energy density and pressure. This spacetime geometry results in initially parallel timelike geodesics diverging, with space-like sections having positive curvature. Topic: <laughs> Anti-de Sitter space distinguished from de Sitter space. An anti-de Sitter space in general relativity is similar to a de Sitter space, except with the sign of the curvature changed. In anti-de Sitter space, in the absence of matter or energy, the curvature of space-like sections is negative, corresponding to a hyperbolic geometry, and initially parallel time-like geodesics eventually intersect. This corresponds to a negative cosmological constant, which does not match cosmological observations. Here, empty space itself has negative energy density but positive pressure. In an anti-de Sitter space, as in a de Sitter space, the inherent spacetime curvature corresponds to the cosmological constant. Topic: <laughs> De Sitter space and anti-de Sitter space viewed as embedded in five dimensions. As noted above, the analogy used above describes curvature of a two-dimensional space caused by gravity in general relativity in a three-dimensional embedding space that is flat, like the Minkowski space of special relativity. Embedding de Sitter and anti-de Sitter spaces of five flat dimensions allows the properties of the embedded spaces to be determined. Distances and angles within the embedded space may be directly determined from the simpler properties of the five-dimensional flat space. 
While anti de Sitter space does not correspond to gravity in general relativity with the observed cosmological constant, an anti de Sitter space is believed to correspond to other forces in quantum mechanics, like electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force. This is called the ADS CFT correspondence. Caveats The remainder of this article explains the details of these concepts with a much more rigorous and precise mathematical and physical description. People are ill-suited to visualizing things in five or more dimensions, but mathematical equations are not similarly challenged and can represent five-dimensional concepts in a way just as appropriate as the methods that mathematical equations use to describe easier to visualize three- and four-dimensional concepts. There is a particularly important implication of the more precise mathematical description that differs from the analogy-based heuristic description of de Sitter space and anti-de Sitter space above. The mathematical description of anti-de Sitter space generalizes the idea of curvature. In the mathematical description, curvature is a property of a particular point and can be divorced from some invisible surface to which curved points in spacetime meld themselves. So for example, concepts like singularities the most widely known of which in general relativity is the black hole which cannot be expressed completely in a real-world geometry, can correspond to particular states of a mathematical equation. The full mathematical description also captures some subtle distinctions made in general relativity between space-like dimensions and time-like dimensions. Definition and properties Much as spherical and hyperbolic spaces can be visualized by an isometric embedding in a flat space of one higher dimension as the sphere and pseudosphere respectively, anti-de Sitter space can be visualized as the Lorentzian analog of a sphere in a space of one additional dimension. To a physicist the extra dimension is timelike. In this article we adopt the convention that the metric in a timelike direction is negative. The anti-de Sitter space of signature P, Q, can then be isometrically embedded in the space R P Q plus 1 display style mathbound R caret P Q plus 1 with coordinates x1 xp t1 tq plus 1 and the metric d s 2 equals i equals 1 p d x i 2 minus j equals one Q plus one D T J two Display style DS carrot two equals sum underscore I equals one carrot P DX underscore I carrot two sum underscore J equals one carrot Q plus one D T underscore J carrot two as the quasi sphere I equals one P X I two minus J equals one Q plus one T J two equals minus Alpha two Display style sum underscore I equals one carrot P x underscore I carrot two sum underscore J equals one carrot Q plus one T underscore J carrot two equals alpha carrot two where alpha Display style alpha is a non zero constant with dimensions of length the radius of curvature. This is a generalized sphere in the sense that it is a collection of points for which the distance 
determined by the quadratic form from the origin is constant, but visually it is a hyperboloid, as in the image shown. The metric on anti-de Sitter space is that induced from the ambient metric. It is non-degenerate and, in the case of Q equals 1 has Lorentzian signature. When Q equals 0, this construction gives a standard hyperbolic space. The remainder of the discussion applies when Q1 equals topic closed timelike curves and the universal cover equals when q1 the embedding above has closed timelike curves for example the path parameterized by t1 equals alpha sin tau T two equals alpha cos tau display style t underscore one equals alpha sin tau t underscore two equals alpha cos tau and all other coordinates zero is such a curve. When Q two these curves are inherent to the geometry, unsurprisingly, as any space with more than one temporal dimension contains closed timelike curves, but when Q equals one, they can be eliminated by passing to the universal covering space, effectively unrolling the embedding. A similar situation occurs with the pseudosphere, which curls around on itself although the hyperbolic plane does not, as a result it contains self-intersecting straight lines geodesics while the hyperbolic plane does not. Some authors define anti-de Sitter space as equivalent to the embedded quasi-sphere itself, while others define it as equivalent to the universal cover of the embedding. <laughs> Symmetries equals If the universal cover is not taken, P, Q anti de Sitter space has O P, Q plus 1 as its isometry group. If the universal cover is taken, the isometry group is a cover of O P, Q plus 1. This is most easily understood by defining anti de Sitter space as a symmetric space, using the quotient space construction, given below equals topic coordinate patches equals a coordinate patch covering part of the space gives the half space coordinatization of anti de Sitter space the metric tensor for this patch is d s 2 equals 1 Y two minus D T two plus D Y two plus I D X I two Display style ds carrot two equals frac one y carrot two left dt carrot two plus die carrot two plus sum underscore i dx underscore i carrot two right with y greater than zero display style y greater than zero giving the half space. We easily see that this metric is conformally equivalent to a flat half-space Minkowski spacetime. The constant time slices of this coordinate patch are hyperbolic spaces in the Poincaré half-space metric. In the limit as y 0 display style y to 0 this half-space metric is conformally equivalent to the Minkowski metric d s Two equals minus d t two plus i d x i two display style d s caret two equals d t caret two plus sum underscore i d x underscore i caret two 
Thus, the anti de Sitter space contains a conformal Minkowski space at infinity, infinity having y coordinate 0 in this patch. In ADS space time is periodic, and the universal cover has non periodic time. The coordinate patch above covers half of a single period of the space time. Because the conformal infinity of ADS is timelike, specifying the initial data on a space-like hypersurface would not determine the future evolution uniquely i.e. deterministically unless there are boundary conditions associated with the conformal infinity. Another commonly used coordinate system which covers the entire space is given by the coordinates t r 0 0 and the hyperpolar coordinates alpha, theta and phi d s 2 equals minus k 2 r 2 plus 1 d t 2 plus 1 k 2 r 2 plus 1 d r 2 plus r 2 d omega 2 Display style ds carrot two equals left k carrot two r carrot two plus one right dt carrot two plus frac one k carrot two r carrot two plus one doctor carrot two plus r carrot two d omega carrot two. The adjacent image represents the half space region of anti de Sitter space and its boundary. The interior of the cylinder corresponds to anti de Sitter spacetime, while its cylindrical boundary corresponds to its conformal boundary. The green shaded region in the interior corresponds to the region of ADS covered by the half space coordinates and it is bounded by two null, aka light like, geodesic hyperplanes. The green shaded area on the surface corresponds to the region of conformal space covered by Minkowski space. The green shaded region covers half of the ADS space and half of the conformal spacetime. The left ends of the green disks will touch in the same fashion as the right ends. Topic: <laughs> As a homogeneous symmetric space. In the same way that the two sphere S two equals O three O two Display style S carrot two equals frac mathram O three mathram O two is a quotient of two orthogonal groups, anti de Sitter with parity reflectional symmetry and time reversal symmetry can be seen as a quotient of two generalized orthogonal groups A D S N equals O two N minus one O one N minus one Display style mathram adds underscore n equals frac mathram O two N one mathram O one N one Whereas adds without p or c can be seen as the quotient s p i n plus two n minus one s p i n plus one n Minus one. Display style frac mathram spin carrot plus two n one mathram spin carrot plus one n one of spin groups. This quotient formulation gives a d s n d 
Display style mathram adds underscore n. The structure of a homogeneous space. The Lie algebra of the generalized orthogonal group O one n display style O one n is given by matrices H equals zero 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 V T zero V B display style math call H equals begin P matrix begin matrix zero and zero zero and zero end matrix and begin P matrix C D O T S zero C D O T S left arrow V carrot T right arrow end P matrix begin P matrix V D O T S and up arrow zero and V V D O T S and down arrow end P matrix and B end P matrix where B display style B is a skew symmetric matrix. A complementary generator in the Lie algebra of G equals O two N display style math call G equals mathrm O two N is Q equals zero a minus a zero W T zero W zero zero display style math call Q equals begin P matrix begin matrix zero and a R and zero end matrix and begin P matrix left arrow W carrot T right arrow C D O T S zero C D O T S end P matrix begin P matrix up arrow and V D O T S W and zero down arrow and V D O T S end P matrix and zero end P matrix these two fulfill G equals H Q display style math call G G equals math call H O plus math call Q. Explicit matrix computation shows that H Q Q display style math call H math call Q subset X math call Q and Q Q H display style math call Q math call Q subset X math call H. Thus, anti de Sitter is a reductive homogeneous space and a non-Riemannian symmetric space. Topic A mathematical definition for anti de Sitter space and its properties A D S N display style mathrm adds underscore n is an n-dimensional solution for the theory of gravitation with Einstein-Hilbert action with negative cosmological constant lambda display style lambda lambda zero display style lambda i.e. the theory described by the following Lagrangian density L equals one sixteen pi g n r minus two lambda display style math call L equals frac one 16 pi g underscore n r 2 lambda, where g n is the gravitational constant in n-dimensional spacetime. Therefore, it is a solution of the Einstein field equations g mu nu plus lambda g mu nu equals zero. Display style g underscore mu nu plus lambda g underscore mu nu equals zero, where g mu nu display style g underscore mu nu is Einstein tensor and g mu nu display style g underscore mu nu is the metric of the spacetime. Introducing the radius alpha display style alpha. Lambda equals minus n minus one n minus two two alpha two display style lambda equals frac n one n two two alpha caret two. This solution can be immersed in a n plus 1 display style n plus 1 dimensional spacetime with signature minus minus plus plus display style plus c d o t s plus by the following constraint minus x 1 2 Minus x two two plus 
I equals three N plus one X I two equals minus alpha two Display style x underscore one carrot two x underscore two carrot two plus some underscore i equals three carrot n plus one x underscore i carrot two equals alpha carrot two. Topic: Global coordinates. A D S Display style mathram adds underscore n is parametrized in global coordinates by the parameters tau rho theta phi one phi n minus three Display style tau rho theta varphi underscore one c d o t s varphi underscore n three as x one equals alpha cosh rho cos tau x two equals alpha cosh Rho sin tau x i equals alpha shine rho x carrot i i x carrot i two equals one display style begin cases x underscore one equals alpha cosh rho cos tau x underscore two equals alpha cosh rho sin tau x underscore i equals alpha shine rho hat x underscore i q quad sum underscore i hat x underscore i carrot two equals one end cases where x carrot i Display style hat x underscore i parametrize a s n minus two display style s caret n two sphere, i.e. we have x caret one equals sin theta sin Phi one sin phi n minus three display style hat x underscore one equals sin theta sin varphi underscore one dots sin varphi underscore n three x carrot two equals sin Theta sin phi one cos phi n minus three display style hat x underscore two equals sin theta sin varphi underscore one dots cos varphi underscore n three x carrot three equals sin theta sin phi 1 cos phi n minus 2 Display style hat x underscore three equals sin theta sin varphi underscore one dots cos varphi underscore n two etc. A D S N display style mathram adds underscore n metric in these coordinates is D S 
2 equals alpha 2 minus cosh 2 rho d tau 2 plus d rho 2 plus shine 2 rho d omega n minus 2 2 Display style ds carrot two equals alpha carrot two cosh carrot two rho d tau carrot two plus d rho carrot two plus shine carrot two rho d omega underscore n two carrot two where tau element of zero two pi display style tau in zero two pi and Rho element of R plus display style rho in math bound R carrot plus. Considering the periodicity of time, tau display style tau. And in order to avoid closed time-like curves (CTC), one should take the universal cover tau element of R. Display style tau in math bound r in the limit rho infinity display style rho to inf t one can approach to the boundary of this space time usually called a d s n display style mathrm adds underscore n conformal boundary with the transformations r alpha shine rho display style r equivalent alpha shine rho and t alpha tau display style t equivalent alpha tau we can have the usual a d s n display style mathrm adds underscore n metric in global coordinates d s 2 equals minus f r d t 2 plus 1 f R D R two plus R two D Omega N minus two two Display style ds carrot two equals f r dt carrot two plus frac one f r doctor carrot two plus r carrot two d omega underscore n two carrot two where f r equals one plus r two alpha two Display style f r equals one plus frac r caret two alpha caret two. Topic: Poincare coordinates. By the following parametrization, x one equals alpha two two r. One plus R two alpha four alpha two plus X two minus T two X two equals 
R alpha T X I equals R alpha X I I element of three N X N plus one equals alpha two two R one minus R two alpha four alpha two minus X two plus T two Display style begin cases x underscore one equals frac alpha carrot two two r one plus frac r carrot two alpha carrot four alpha carrot two plus vec x carrot two t carrot two x underscore two equals frac r alpha t x underscore i equals frac r alpha x underscore i q quad i in three c d o t s n x underscore n plus one equals frac alpha carrot two two r one frac r carrot two alpha carrot four alpha carrot two vec x carrot two plus t carrot two end cases. The a d s n display style mathrm adds underscore n metric in the Poincaré coordinates is d s two equals minus R two alpha two D T two plus alpha two R two D R two plus R two alpha two D X two Display style DS carrot two equals frac R carrot two alpha carrot two DT carrot two plus frac alpha carrot two R carrot two Doctor carrot two plus frac R carrot two alpha carrot two D VEC X carrot two in which Zero R display style zero L E Q R. The codimension two surface R equals zero display style R equals zero is Poincaré killing horizon and R infinity display style R to inf t approaches to the boundary of a D S N Display style mathram adds underscore N space time, so unlike the global coordinates, the Poincare coordinates do not cover all A D S N Display style mathram adds underscore N manifold using U R alpha two display style U equivalent frac R alpha carrot two. This metric can be written in the following way: D S two equals alpha two D U two U two plus U two D X mu D X mu 
Display style ds carrot two equals alpha carrot two left frac two carrot two u carrot two plus u carrot two dx underscore mu dx carrot mu right where x mu equals t x display style x carrot mu equals t vec x by the transformation Z one U Display style Z equivalent frac one U Also it can be written as D S two equals alpha two Z two D Z two plus D X mu D X mu display style ds caret two equals frac alpha caret two z caret two d z caret two plus d x underscore mu d x caret mu. Topic: Geometric properties. A D S N display style mathrm adds underscore n metric with radius alpha display style alpha is one of the maximal symmetric n-dimensional spacetimes. It has the following geometric properties: Riemann curvature tensor R mu nu alpha beta equals minus 1 alpha 2 g mu alpha g nu beta minus g mu beta g nu alpha Display style R underscore mu new alpha beta equals frac minus one alpha carrot two G underscore mu alpha G underscore mu beta G underscore mu beta G underscore mu alpha Ritchie curvature R mu new equals minus N minus one alpha 2 g mu nu display style r underscore mu nu equals frac n1 alpha caret 2 g underscore mu nu scalar curvature r equals minus n n minus 1 Alpha two Display style R equals frac N N one alpha carrot two 